Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Coloretto. Colorado is a card game published by Abacus Spiel, designed by Michael Schacht, plays two to five players in 30 minutes. And this is effectively, I'm not sure which one came first, I should have looked that up, but this is effectively the card game version of Zuloretto. I think this one might have been first, I'm not 100% sure. And what you're trying to do is you are trying to collect different sets of these colored, what is this, like a gecko, iguana, chameleon, whatever, I think it's a chameleon. And you're trying you're gonna be scoring points for three of your sets. The issue here is if you get more than three different colors, you're gonna lose points for every color over three. That's it. There's a cool uh, mechanism of do I want to play a card out to the table for someone else to take, or do I take a set of cards and make them my own? That's effectively the game. So let's go out of the table. Check it out. Alright, so here's a game of Coloretto, all set up for three players. Before you're, you're going to start playing, you're going to decide which scoring you're going to score. I'm going to use the gold side because I like it. This side doesn't give you many points and it's fun. I just like this side. Each player is going to get one of these. Each player is going to get a color of um, gecko or chameleon, a colored card. And then in a three player game, you're going to use one, three of these. You're going to use one of these for the number player and you're going to take out one color of card and I took out yellow. Okay. Now we're ready to play. The way this game works is on your turn, you're either going to take all of the cards on one of these rows here, or you're gonna flip a card and put it out. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get sets of up to three different colors to score a bunch of points. If you can get six, you get 21. The trick here is you can only score three colors positive. Any other colors outside of three are negative, and that's bad. All right, so let's go ahead and go. So um, this player will go first, they'll flip, I'll put that one right there. Then that, uh, I'll just go this way because it's easier for me. Red will flip and the, ooh, the golden joker. We'll explain what that happens when we, someone takes it. Then blue, blue will do that. Back to me. I'm gonna put orange with the golden one. This player, they'll go one more. They'll do green here. Blue will go here. Now, back to me. I'm actually going to take these cards. So I'll take this, just so we know that I took one, and I take both of these cards. Now, I put this here. The Golden Joker does not get a sign now. It can just hang out and get a sign later. So I set it up here. But when you take the Golden Joker, you take a random card at the top of the deck. So I now have a blue. Could mess you up. It's a great card, but it could mess you up. All right, then it's Red's turn. They can either take something or they'll, they'll flip one more. Ugh. They'll put that there. And blue will take this one. So they get a purple, another blue, and a two point card, which is just two points. So we just tuck that up there. And then this player might as well flip one more. What the heck, see what happens. So that's good. So they'll take this. They'll get another red, a green. Let me slide these up a little. A red, a green, and a brown. All right, and then this comes back. And we're ready to go. Oh, one thing I forgot. Shoot. I do this every time. I forgot to put the last round card in the appropriate spot. So that would really mess stuff up. I gotta find it, there it is. All right, so that'll go f under 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this, you'll shuffle out 15 cards in the setup. I always forget to do this until like the second round. Put that on top and then put the rest of the cards. When that last round card comes up, then we know that's the end of the game. All right, so that was that. Whoever took the last card, which was this one, they will start. So they will flip, they'll put a green. It'll be the other player, they'll pick a blue. Back to me. I'll put that here. Back to this player. They'll do an orange here. Back to that player. I'll put the brown here. Back to me. I'm just gonna take this. So I get me another orange and two points, which is good, but I'm done. 
And then it is this player's turn. They're gonna take this one actually, because they don't want to get any more negative points either. Let's slide this up a little bit. And then that player, they'll keep going a little bit. So one. Ugh, that was bad. All right. So now they are. I'm running out of room, but that's fine. Y you get what I'm doing here. So they have another blue. A purple, a brown, and now they have five, co four colors, so they're going to start losing points, which is not great. All right, but they get to go first, and they'll flip a card. Plus two, then it's me, a green, then it's that player, a brown, it's that player again. They're going to just take the plus two and be done. So they're done. Back to me, I'll flip another. Plus, ooh, that stinks for them. So they're gonna take this, because that's great for them. Put that there, and then I'll just keep flipping. Red, ugh. That's negative points for me. Okay, so I'll take this. So I get this, now I have four colors, which stinks. And I'm running out of room, so. Let's see, I'll just put the joker here for now. You don't assign it until the end, but I just need to get some room. And that's how the game's going to keep going. You're going to keep playing like that until the last round card, which looks like this comes out. If someone draws that, then they draw another card. And you're going to keep playing until the end of the round. And then you're going to score. So scoring is pretty easy. You're going to score two points for every one of your plant cards that are worth two points. You're going to score up to three sets of this. And then other sets above three are going to score just like this, but negative. And whoever has the most points is the winner. And these get assigned at the end to any group. So I can assign that to orange to make that orange more valuable. And that's how you play Colorado. Let's go up the top. See what we think about it. All right, well, that was Colorado. So let's talk about the components. The components are cards. Cards with colored, I'm assuming chameleons because they are blending in with the backgrounds. All the cards are this. There's, that's the Joker. I didn't show you that. I showed you the gold one, one the golden one. That's that. There's also... The round marker, a last round marker, the stacks of cards, and there are some cards that are worth points that look like this. That's it. That's the, the contents of the game. They're nice cards. They shuffle nicely. They're easy to tell what color they are. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm not great. I'm not color blind. I'm color weak. But even if you are, they have different backgrounds. Like the blue has some clouds. The purple has some flowers. So even if you are uh, color blind, I believe that these should be able to be all right for you. Now let's talk about the gameplay. This is a really fast, fun, simple little card game. What you saw in this video is what this is. I played probably through the half, half of the game and what you saw. And that's what you're trying to do. You're gonna decide you're gonna put out a card to one of the, the stacks out there, or are you gonna take a, a set of cards and put them in your scoring pile? That's it. The thinkiness comes in, where do you want to put the cards down? Because you don't want to set up a, an opponent where it's three of their colors. It just plays right into their hand. You want to make it difficult for people to take some stuff, maybe cause them to lose some points. And that's it. That's the that's the crux of this game. It flies by. It says 30 minutes. If you're playing this in 30 minutes, you are doing something wrong. This game is flying by. It is fast. You should be able to bang this out in 20 minutes. Maybe 30 if you're teaching it. But again, the teach is, hey, you're going to draw a card. You're going to put it out or you're going to take some cards. Trying to get sets of three different colors to score points. Anything over three is negative points. Done. Boom. Ready to go. Fantastic game. I enjoy it quite a bit. And I've covered Zularetto on the channel. I like that one quite a bit. I like Zularetto a little bit more maybe. But this one is faster. And gives you some of those similar kind of vibes with like taking the trucks and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep them both because they are different. They're going to scratch different itches. I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 on BGG which is a three and a half out of five wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing, but when I take it with the games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is Coloretto from Abacus Spiel. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming. Mm -hmm.